here for my TNA Impact Wrestling review for June 9th, 2011. Start off the show with Hogan and Eric Bischoff and then talk, basically talk about McFoley being fired. And the network basically told them that they just don't want the X Division to be destroyed. And he said it wasn't. So Sting and Anderson come out and BS each other basically. Talk back and forth, how he's going to win, or I'm going to win, you know. Kind of cheesy. Then we have a match, tag match, Mickey and Tara versus Angelina Love and Winter. Mickey and Tara, they don't, I was worried, this says they beat Angelina Love and Tara. Actually, I'm on, no. Mickey James and Tara lose because Madison comes out. And then, um, uh, Mickey gets nailed by Angelina with this weird... Looks like a scorpion into like a knee breaker or a back breaker with both knees in her back. So, yeah. Fernandez and Aquaria defeat James Storm and Alex Shelley in a non title match when they actually go back, talk to the boss, Hogan, say, We should get a title match. In ring segment, Kurt Angle with Jeff Jarrett basically going back and forth. Jarrett just basically, I mean, they're just renewing the rivalry. It's all they just made said. Then Ravi Dan beat Bubba Ray. AJ Styles appeared in the ring or in the crowd. Velvet Sky beat ODB in a basically just a brawl until it got to the ring. Mr. Anderson and Gunner beat Sting and Eric Young in the main event. That's pretty much it. Um, we do see Abyss backstage, and he basically says, "Um, uh, they were all carrying around Janice, the uh, Kaz, and um, our Frankie Kazarian, and um." Uh, Brian Kendrick. Um, they're here on Janice, and then Abyss walks up and says, Hey, I'm not here to fight you guys backstage. He, he quotes some some uh, some words from the Art of War book. And he basically says that this is, we're not going to just take this title and burn it and destroy it. He's going to rename, he's renaming the title, the Extreme Title. I kind of like it. I mean, the Extreme Title. Huh. Kind of takes you back to when there was actually a hardcore title in wrestling. So, maybe, I mean, this is intriguing to me. So, it's going to be a three-way dance for the Extreme title, a.k.a. the X Division title. Which, I kind of like the Extreme title. I don't get wrong. I love the X title. The X Division title, the X title, whatever you guys call it. Impact wasn't that great tonight. I mean, there was a lot of promos. I mean, you had... I mean, they kept, Hogan looked pretty sweet in that, uh, the blue bandana. Which, come on, why are you still wearing a bandana? I mean, whatever. And the Impact shirt. I'm liking the new Impact look, though. I mean, it kind of draws you in. And I was listening to this radio show Monday morning. Or Monday morning. I'm on Monday, uh, Monday evening, after all. Pro Wrestling Report. Check it out, guys. Um, and they said we're kind of, like, trained to watch Raw... And TNA and SmackDown. I mean, we just watch it. I mean, hoping for something new. But we never get it. And this is my Impact review. I mean, the rest I'm trying to bring in WWE in it. But, I mean... And there's this kind of war going on. I'm, like, Ultimate Warrior has been... Bashing Hulk Hogan on YouTube. I mean, just punch it into YouTube. I mean, just... Punch the letters in, uh, Warrior bashes Hogan. Calling him a drug user and saying he was one of the main re people responsible for splitting up, uh, Miss Elizabeth and Macho Man, saying Macho Man was a lunatic and he was all possessive and stuff, and which we all heard that Macho Man, he looked like he was really possessive. And he kind of, Hogan did this interview, he kind of portrayed Macho Man as this, um, uh, as a freaking abuser, psycho, psychological abuser. I mean, you're studying physical. And Warrior went on to say other stuff too about Hogan, like, um, you continuously use cocaine. You you get people all on drugs where they can um, uh, where they wouldn't, we could still control them. He said you and your wife always had an open marriage. That he was the only one who never slept with your wife. I mean, he claims, he says, you're screwing around with Brooks, 
one of Brooke's friends, and uh, vice versa, your wife screwing around one of Brooke's friends. And, hey, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I don't know about all the personal issues, but, I mean, Warrior, I mean, his promos were really weird at times. I have no clue what he was, when I was a young kid, I was a huge Ultimate Warrior fan. I've said this in previous videos, I mean, me and my three, two brothers, all three of us had the wrestling buddies, if you guys remember those. My brother, my younger brother had Hogan. Uh, my other brother had Macho Man, oh yeah, and I had the Ultimate Warrior. We were all big fans of those guys. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Just to that, I guess. And apparently, some WWE news, John Cena is injured right now. He has a neck injury. And I, I know there was something else, but I can't remember what the other injury was. But I know he has some, he's been dealing with some neck issues right now. We know he's had neck surgery in the past. I'm not saying he's definitely injured on the album, but he has been dealing with some elements. That he even needs. So we could even see him drop the title to Archer. You never know, I mean, because he does have this big match scheduled with uh, The Rock. So if he is injured and doesn't need to take time off for a while, I mean, this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. I mean, have him be gone for a while. And then maybe, I mean, have, give our truth the belt and have him and Morrison maybe feud over it. <clears throat> so that was pretty much my video. I mean, I'm ready to get about seven minutes in, done with it, my review. Impact was okay. It wasn't nothing great. No great wrestling tonight. I mean, nothing compared to what that match between Kendrick and uh, Kaz last week, which I was kind of hoping to see some more X Division matches. What are we gonna do? Like, I want to see him bring in some more X stars, like some, like they used to do. Like, bring back the X Cup. Bring back like some old X Division stars. And where the hell is Petey Williams? Bring him back. I mean, it sucks that Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. One guy, Alex Shelley gets hurt, then he comes back. Then the same night he comes back, Chris Saban gets hurt. I mean, that sucks. The Saban's out till next year. Um, let's see. We see Robert Roode. And there's a teaser going around that Robert Roode might be turning on James Storm. Maybe joining Immortal or um, uh, turning heel and going to becoming a singles competitor. So. Never know, which is. This is true, which I, since they've been trying, sort of look like they're trying to build an angle with um, uh, James Storm and Alex Shelley to take on, uh, so not LAX, um, Latin America, I don't know the hell they're called, I don't remember, Mexican America, that's it. So they might keep the belts, and then feud with them on the next pay-per-view. Because I think the next pay-per-view anniversary is Destination X, I believe, I think it's in July, so that'd be sweet to watch, I can't wait for that. But, I mean, I look at Capital Punishment. I look at Slammiversary. I mean, I'm sorry, but I think Slammiversary... I'm more in interested in Slammiversary than I am Capital Punishment. It's, it's Capital Punishment is next weekend, not this weekend. Next weekend. And there's only a, two matches that I know of uh, announced, which I know there's going to be some matches added tomorrow night. Like, it's probably going to end up being Orton and Christian again. And maybe some other matches thrown in there. Who knows? You guys, Bizarre 1000, F and True Click, what's poppin'? Um, check out F and True Wrestling. Check out F and True Entertainment. Check out We Are Pro Wrestling. Check out some of my other people's channels. I got 32. I did have 33, but I think someone dropped me, so... Guys, keep building me up, dude. I'm trying to slowly gain my popularity on this thing. Um, I'm October. In October, my, you know, I'll be on YouTube for a whole year in October. So, guys, I mean, I'm excited about that. I want to do something special for my fans. Maybe get some merchandise, get some stuff away, or um, uh, get an interview with some a wrestler. So, guys, have a good one.
Bizarre 1000, F and True Click. Check out F and True Wrestling. We are pro wrestling. Peace, guys.